what's up everybody Dre right back at it again with another video today we're going to be talking about ready or not because they just came out with another briefing this one is called briefing 43 importer update brought to us again by the very generous kaminsky the community manager at void interactive all right let's just hop into it it starts off with saying attention officers welcome to the 43rd edition of our bi-weekly newsletter this week we'll be showcasing an in-depth first look at our new map importer playable on our next major update developers and artists have been working hard towards this update and are excited to showcase exciting changes and additions the curse of losunas the losunas postal service lsps has long been a staple within the community meeting the demands of a growing population and bringing fast international shipping to the residents of losunas like many business in losunas lsps found themselves victims of corruption and crime a formal investigation was launched investigating the disappearance of almost 10 percent of total packages imported through this facility all of the lsps staff were all fired and new procedures for both hiring and packaging handling were introduced to prevent theft and build closures due to large media coverage and the large amount of distrust from the general public a federal government employee was hired to directly oversee the movement of packages within the facility to ensure trust within the community and we got our first picture here yeah this just straight up looks like a postal service office i know because uh someone in my family works works at one. Oh, that and we also usually drop off our mail like for mail in ballots and all that stuff oh this is a completely new map i didn't even realize i thought this was the data center map that's cool this is a government building if i've ever seen one underneath the picture it says this might look functional on the outside but in the inside it's a different story moving on to the next thing here years later the lsps grew and became a large operating facility in los sunes unfortunately no amount of staff hires and anti-theft procedures can prevent crime in los sunes Police now suspect the facility is illegally importing weapons from hotspots around the world for the local gang, the Los Locos. Oh, it's been a minute since the last time we've heard of those guys. Detectives were dispatched to visit the premises in order to interview suspected staff and ended up walking right into an in-progress deal. A shootout ensues and SWAT is called to the scene. Awesome. Brand new map, brand new lore. Up next, we got another picture here. This looks like the backside of the postal service here where they usually put all their trucks and stuff. Los Sunes Postal Service. You got all the trucks here where they, you know, stack them in and stuff. Man, this really does look like a postal service center. That's pretty cool. Underneath this, it says, there's going to be a lot of trucks and packages to search. Be thorough, untraced, and unknown. In response to the LSPD crackdown on the sale of firearms within Los Sunas, the LSPS has turned into a hub for the import of firearms from outside the city. Every firearm your average Los Sunian gangbanger could wish for. Select fire AR-15s, Glock 19 compacts, AKA pattern rifles, G21 SF machine pistols, among other models, continue to flow into the city at an unprecedented rate. That amount of firepower are things that every gang dreams of and every officer fears up next is another picture here let's take a look see and this just looks like a packing area for a bunch of packages and stuff conveyor belts and places to walk over this looks really good not gonna lie this is gonna be an interesting map to go through this is the inside of that area and you can see all the doors that we saw on the outside there the windows this is the back side and the front i'm assuming yeah you can see the sign right there okay cool 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 i don't see anything out of the ordinary at least but this definitely looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent sized map and fun underneath this it says heavy machinery and gunfire don't mix very well i could imagine if there's a freaking safety hazard there somewhere but uh yeah in conclusion this concludes our 43rd bi-weekly briefing where we introduce the newest map importer be sure to tune in next week be sure to tune in next time for more development news and yeah that's pretty much it for the newsletter uh there's not too much to really talk about it's really just a brand new map and um whenever this next update comes out there's gonna be quite a bit of content i don't know if they're gonna add it all in but i'm trying to think uh we got now in porter ridgeline hospital agency possibly fast food there's going to be quite a bit of maps with this next update that have been updated or brand new pretty much so can't wait to see it whenever it decides to come out but damn it's been four months well that's pretty much all i got for this uh relatively short video i think let me know what you think down below i'm gonna get the heck up out of here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like Raider or not then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover and for someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button send a thank you in the comments any donation helps to keep the channel running and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye